Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan of Softcore Brownie, welcome you back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I have finished with my uh black bass, although what I I look I I looked ahead in my notes a bit and I I kinda realized I actually only need like four of these right now, so you know, this was actually a bigger hassle to get than I thought. It took me like 50 minutes. <laughs> And I got a lot of extra bass just because I, you can't really tell the difference between the two <laughs> there. So, uh, yeah, if you only want four, that's fine because there's, uh, there's another fishing spot that has black bass that they are a little bit more numerous <laughs> that uh, we'll have access to before the, well, before the time after the next time that I'll need black bass. <laughs> So, of which case, yeah, next time I need Black Bass, it'll only be four, so yeah, there's that. And then, yeah, I've kind of rearranged my uh, items a little bit, you know, just to, for the sake of, you know, whatever there, so. Awesome. Oh, yes, yes, and my equipment, actually, some things I didn't actually think about. I don't have Ryu with the Midas Stone. Since I have Momo with Monopolize already, I am actually going to be utilizing that in the next dungeon, so I can actually have to keep Nina alive <laughs> and use the Midas Stone, and, you know, I can use the Claymore or the Scramasax as needed, although most of the enemies here have uh, high enough agility that I'll probably be using the more anyway, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> but, uh, well, it dims the brakes, <laughs> unfortunately. So, anywho, yeah, I still haven't given myself any new skills. Uh, if I did, I, I think I'd actually give Nina Typhoon, and I'm not sh I, well, I definitely would give Nina Blitz by now, or not Nina, Momo. Blitz by now, which, you know, I technically already have, of course, but I'm gonna kind of go through the next dungeon as if I didn't have it yet, just because I wasn't planning on necessarily having it equipped on her right now, so. Oh, uh, maybe I should, I meant to examine it, you know, guide. So, hang on a sec, let me just walk right back out and look at that. <laughs> Got a nice example of the music of the dump. Yeah, disposal area, no author, uh, blah, no unauthorized entry. Fortunately, we are. Ooh, creepy music. Don't bother going up that way yet. We will be going up that way soon enough, but not right now. S several new enemies here. Actually, there are entirely new enemies here. <laughs> Beginning with the pain weed and the rank weed who I think always show up together and although I think they can also show up with like one more enemy if I'm not mistaken uh, Let's see. Yeah, the paint the yeah The rank weed is the one with red eyes and the pain weed is the one with the uh, purplish blue I guess it's more like a purplish eyes kind of looks like a poison version of this guy basically They are very different the rank weed here he has, er, yeah, rank weed. Yeah, he has a high counterattack rate. I don't believe this guy does. And he is weak to fire, ice, electricity, wind, and earth. So, yeah, use whatever element you want against him. <laughs> and you can totally do that. But then we have the pain weed, who I don't believe does counterattacks. But, yeah, they have basically identical stats there. Yeah, HP of 80. Uh, AP of 20, both of them will try to use Weaken on us and have like a 1 in 4 chance of, using, of uh, potentially using that. And uh, yeah, we can steal Bat Amulets from them if you care, but I don't. Now for this guy, well, first off, I want to monopolize pretty much every fight here for the time being until uh, Momo gets to her next level there. Well, actually, it's a little lucky before as well. I want to attack the pain weed, and I actually want Nina to contribute and use Cyclone on the rank weed. Even though it's only one AP difference, Cyclone is actually quite a bit stronger than Frost. She can potentially one-shot this guy with Cyclone, but it's not guaranteed. In fact, I'd consider it a bit of a low odds, honestly. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I figured about half, although I was gonna have- oh, good. 
You go! You get him, Nina? Nah, not even close. Yeah, she, I have seen that do up to 80 points of damage, but yeah, not today, not today. And yeah, one in four chance using weekend, I don't really care. Yeah, it's just telling them apart that's the kind of big deal as far as like using magic against them or uh, elemental weapons that, you know, Momo has for that matter. <laughs> yeah, they don't have... He doesn't have a weakness, does he? Yeah, neither of them has a, a weakness. I, well, I mean, well, the rank weed obviously has weaknesses to everything, but yeah, the pain weed doesn't have a weakness there, so. I'm gonna wanna get uh, two levels for Momo while I'm here, although more like one and a half. But, and all that, so let's see. I don't especially care about Momo's uh, a AP while I'm here, so. Yeah, I want to kind of keep. Uh, Ryu topped off, although obviously I could just use my scads of healing items that I have. I've been saving up there, especially the bread and the green apples and piranha and all that. I've, I've even caught a few extra piranhas in my in my attempts to try to catch bat the black bass there. <laughs> so, Yeesh. yeah, that's two new enemies. First thing we want to do is come up here. Nothing back behind us. Oh, of course you do. Well, there's the fire slug. This is the only enemy in the game that can drop the Moxa. He has a, I believe, 1 in 64 chance of doing so. He also could have potentially used Fire Breath, although it's a lot weaker than the Ice Toad's uh, Ice Breath there since he only has 61 HP compared to the Fire Toad's uh, 80. So, yeah, Fire Breath uh, weaker there. So, yeah, Monopolize. Well, technically... They're both weak to fire, but, uh, yeah, I want to attack- Well, actually, no, no, no. You, well, it's not gonna matter, is it? Because the fire slug has an agility of 13, surprisingly. They're not very sluggish. I guess... Maybe? Because there does seem to be a little bit of variance there, and otherwise... You're- actually, no, you're not gonna kill him. I don't even know why I'm bothering with this, but... Momo's also not guaranteed to hit anything on her turns because of her bad accuracy, so Might as well do that. Oh, I actually did get an attack in before him. Wow Okay, that'll do a lot less damage then cool cool Yeah, there is some I guess there are kind of is some kind of random variance there with the agility there It's not quite as straightforward as I was Originally led to believe so okay. Let's just attack you and yeah go ahead and throw a frost spell in there if uh, something happens Jerk Momo's significantly faster too But not today, but that's also kind of what oh, that's right. He can run away, huh? Well, then in 94 experience points there Fire Slug isn't incredibly common here, but, well, there it is. Oh, they're also both, uh, have, are, like, very weak to psionic status and death, so there's that as well. And as you saw there, the, uh, regular Slug can use Chlorine on us, and yeah, he has a, uh, one in two chance of running away once his HP drops to half. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Uh, do, do, do. let's see, let's get some healing on Ryu there, and you know what, let's go ahead and use up that, uh, those green apples there for you two, why not? In a sense, I was kind of saving them for Blitz, but not really. Got this blue switch here, which moves these. Yeah, there's one, two, and three. Uh, this will allow us, as you can see, to get across that path up there. Uh, this path right here does not connect to that box at all, even no matter where you have the box sitting. So, yeah, we can't go to that little narrow ledge up there as far as I know, even though that lines up perfectly with the boxes. So, let's see. We got 1,200 zenny. Awesome. How much money do I have right now? I actually got a little tiny bit extra from selling a few things off screen there, but yeah. Looking good there. Looking good. 
now we want to go back around to, uh, well, back to the, past the entrance again. Oh, you guys again? Oh, actually, yeah. Well, I mean, they only have an agility. Well, yeah, they do have an agility of 13, so yeah, I'll just put well the claymore and try to do as much damage as possible. Jeez. Well, that actually sucks for you, Nina. <laughs> Now he's gonna absorb that and get some health back. Dang it! <laughs> well, that can happen. Dang it! Oh well. Yeesh. Anyway. Uh, let's see. How do I. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Break some bread for you, Nina. It's from Windia, after all. Oh, actually, that would be perfect for you. That's exactly as much as you needed. So yeah, let's go ahead and use up some of those like silly healing items. Why not? Yeah, I kind of forgot about the reprisal right there. Yeah, nothing down that little path there because yeah, clearly it's just a dead end. Oh, and there's another new, in, rather interesting new enemy. Let's see, I want to monopolize. On his first turn, he has a 3 and 4 chance of using silence, which will not affect monopolize, fortunately. Or any physical attacks that I have in my skills, so that's kind of cool with the silence thing. Yeah, one of, he's one of like two enemies in the whole game that can cast silence. But yeah, I want to try to blind him. Because normally he's worth 80 experience points, but if you blind him, he's worth three times that. And yeah, monopolizing that, very cool there. Uh, Nina, well, it's not good. Well, she can't damage anything other than the slug with her regular physical attack anyway, because she's so weak. <laughs> I think it shows, right? Yeah, 33. Yeah, everything around here has a, a defense of like... 34 or 35, <laughs> except for the slug, which has a defense of 5, so yeah, she can't even hurt anything with a regular physical attack, and there's a reason why I don't want to bother trying to hit him just yet. Well, plus I want to blind him anyway. Yeah, that's what silence looks like. And just like so many other RPGs, the silence status just looks like that, so... Yeah. Nice! Now he's worth 3 times experience, and he, yeah, he heals himself automatically 30 HP every turn. And now he has a, uh, 1 in 2 chance from here on out. He, like, he won't use silence anymore, but he has a 1 in 2 chance of using a skill called rest, which basically is just snooze. <laughs> Except, uh, way worse, and it won't actually put you to sleep. I might as well give it to Nina, because I actually have a 100% chance of learning this. So yeah, if he uses it, there we go. Might as well give it to Nina, because there's going to be turns where she's got, like, nothing to do there. So yeah, heals 1 AP and 5 HP, nothing else. It's not really that interesting, so... And then, yeah, let's see, this guy, is he, he's, yeah, weak to fire, but he's actually resistant to, like, every other element. 75% resistance. Oh, actually, in fact, I could use the blink prism. Why not? If you actually hit him. Because, actually, it doesn't even matter. You could kill him with your regular ammo anyway, because, yeah, Ryu can kill him right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, just defend there, why not? Oh, wow, you can't? I'm kind of shocked by that. Six, how come you can- Oh, right, because you're in the attack formation, doy. That's why. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 240 experience points for blinding him. Very nice, Momo. Awesome. Yeah, HP. Nice boost to power. We get the Quake spell, which is, yeah, kind of Momo's innate element, as it were. 
I guess. Quake's actually a pretty good spell there. Hits all enemies for Earth Elemental damage, and although uh, two of the enemies here are immune or otherwise absorb that, so not that great here, but it's there, and let's see, how much does it cost? Because I like, yeah, seven? Yeah, I basically never use it, but yeah, it is a pretty good skill, though. Or spell, so. Uh, oh, wow, we basic practically didn't even take damage there. Nice. How much uh, to your next level up there, Momo? Because I basically, because now I basically want to get you close to or slightly below 300. Oh, not that way. Yeah, slightly below 300 before I fight the boss here. So, got high boots. And this is actually another reason I wanted to, uh, yeah, give Nina the Midas Stone, because uh, I kind of want the high boots for Ryu, since I, my defense is quite a bit lower than I was uh, rather hoping it might be <laughs> uh, at this point, since, you know, because of Midas and all that. Uh, let's see. Yes, you did. Okay, yeah, you got poisons. Do I actually want... Well, it's not gonna matter that much. I don't need to preserve my MP that much in this particular fight. <laughs> so... Oh! I don't need to do that. Where am I going? I, I forgot I can just jump down here. <laughs> I could go back around and just, you know, sleep in camp, I suppose, but it's not that big a deal. Ooh, Bomber. This is the guy that, actually, he can, like, pretty much three-shot uh, Ryu with, if I was still at uh, level 11 with no high boots there. So, yeah, this guy, unfortunately, also has the skill that I want, which is Air Raid. And, unfortunately, uh, this is, I think, the only other skill besides, um, oh, what was it? The one that uh, the boss goblin has, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, it only has a 6.25% chance of, uh, learning. So. Aya! Yeah, if he uses Air Raid, which actually, surprisingly, has a 1.25% uh, extra damage than normal. Unfortunately, he's not using it. He, can only, he only has enough AP to use it twice. So... Ow. Sorry, Nina. I was kind of hoping you might actually survive so that I could, you know, have a higher chance of learning this, but, well, not today. Yeah, Air Raid is kind of an interesting skill because it also can, it acts sort of like a status effect because it uses status resistance, if I'm not mistaken, to, well, yeah, go ahead and monopolize there. To, uh, what is it? Uh, cancel what uh, a character is going to do. <laughs> he has 100 HP, by the way. Yeesh. And unfortunately, an agility of 15, so. Same as the eye bulbs, weirdly enough. Let's see, I'm pretty close to 300 there, but. I do still want to try to get that again for him, but yeah, unfortunately, well, I could practically use bread now, but yeah, I do want to keep my HP high just for that guy, as far as, like, Ryu goes, so. Yeah, I don't want to quite use up all of Momo's AP, but, and if you need to go back, this is what this switch is here for, because this place is pretty short, this is the only other room in here. Hopefully I meet another bomber. I definitely want that skill. A raid's pretty good, even though I actually don't use it a ton long term. Uh oh yeah, there's yeah, they can't come with an eyeball there, but actually, since I don't need that much experience, I'm just gonna run away from that. There's a reason why I kinda wanna limit how much experience I get, cause uh there's well, you'll see. Uh nothing up that way, and that also is a dead end, so. Technically. I mean, there's a box over there that we can stand on, but there's nothing to do with it at the moment. 
Yep. Really, dude? Go away. Yeah, the bomber there is worth uh, 102 experience points. Oh, yeah. If anyone's standing on the conveyor belt, then it won't move. <laughs> yeah, for safety reasons, please do not engage. Yeah, conveyor belt while people are on the belt, and I actually didn't want to go to the blue one anyway. I want to go to the red one, and I want to hit this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight. And now we want to go back around this way. All right. So, uh, let's see. We can go back up here. Yeah, that one. As you can see, we can use that as a path now. Yeah, that box would have just led right there, so that's nothing. Nothing over here. But uh, surprisingly, behind the conveyor belt, <laughs> that I don't even think we can actually get on top of anyway. Wow, that's quite the, uh, <laughs> wow, that's something. I didn't quite realize that was even a formation here. I didn't memorize them all, so, yeah, I don't think there's, well, I mean, there is technically something down that way, but it won't lead to anything. That's just because uh, the, uh, there's a box in the way right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that actually just leads down there, but there's nothing to do there now. But there is that treasure right there, and I believe we've seen all the new enemies. Go away, Fire Slug, even though I could, you could drop a Moxa, but it's not likely, and now we're going to take lots of damage because you couldn't run away. You freaking jerk, you. Ow! Yeah, Nina can just barely survive that. Ow! I guess I might as well use bread. Use a bread on you, and you, yeah, use one on you, just use that up, because, you know, I don't really care, and then go ahead and use a much stronger feeling on Ryu there, that'll work, that'll work, because, yeah, we want this treasure for sure, which is the Artemis Cap, which is an accessory that raises accuracy, for, particularly for Momo, uh, by 10 points, and this does stack, so, yeah, this, or, yeah, this, along with Delonzo, means that, uh, yeah, I'm 15%, or 15 points more accurate than normal, so, yeah, I'm almost now sitting at 85% accuracy, which is nice, so, yeah, between two Artemis Caps and Delonzo, she only maxes out at a, uh, 95% accuracy, but that's still pretty darn good, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> so, yeah, eventually we'll want a second Artemis cap, but unfortunately it's going to be a while before we get the next one, so. Because I'm gonna have. Oh well. Try to learn. Yeah, that again. Uh, air raid again, but unfortunately he got the drop on me. <laughs> literally, because. I mean, well, both figuratively and literally, I guess. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, he got a surprise attack on us, and he used Air Raid on the first turn, unfortunately. Ugh. That is the problem with this, this particular party, unfortunately, but, well, let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Didn't learn it? Woo! Yeah, it costs 3 AP to use, and yeah, I actually like using that for, like, Momo or other fast characters, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we're not guaranteed to learn it. Yeah, fortunately, he can't use that again because it doesn't have enough AP. I, well, do I? Well, no, I don't care to actually kill you. We're good. We're good. Yeah, if I don't learn it, like, right now, it's not the end of the world. I'll just, you know, probably go out, sleep, and then try it off screen to learn that. Or, not entirely off screen, but, you know, I'll be trying to fight him a bunch of times. But yeah, we want to come around this way get ourselves a magic shard, which, well, obviously, because of the way I have Momo outfitted, 
Uh, I, you might want to get to her because because her AP is going to be suffering pretty badly since she's mostly going to have masters that are minus two AP for here from here on out. But I definitely want to give this to Ryu because he is so AP dependent in the long run. And then yeah, it doesn't matter which way around this lava pit you go. Eventually we are going to reach this. And well, yeah, I'm almost close to 300. And let's see. All right, Nina, because you're not going to be doing much here. Oh, no. Pressing the wrong buttons there. And I do want to get the minus stone. Well, actually, are you? How much? No, yeah, you are worth a good amount of money. Okay, yeah, because there's a boss coming up here. <laughs> Very good amount of money, actually. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get in there. Look at that. It's so cool. I guess so, yeah. Uh, probably. Ah, what's that? And, you know, maybe then try to kill it with fire. Because this guy is totally weak to fire. If you couldn't tell, he's a freaking plant. Ah, uh, yeah, but I guess we should, yeah, chop it up and throw it into the magma. Wow, Nina, brutal much? <laughs> er, not Nina, Momo. <laughs> Dude. A. Wow. How the hell did we mutate you to understand speech? Well, technically? Oh, now you don't want to chop him up and throw him in the magma. Right. Ah. Uh. Well, that 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 was the idea coming in here. I mean, you're you're kind of scaring the uh, guys at the plant mostly, and also they probably want to hide your existence for, you know, reputational reasons. <laughs> so anyway, all right, Momo. I actually totally forgot. I definitely want to help you with Flame Chrism. I do. Well, actually, it wouldn't really matter if I did that on the first turn. I could do defense up on Momo, but yeah, do that. Do I want to, well, you're gonna, just gonna kill yourself, so I don't care. Do I even, I do want to have the light bangle, because this guy could potentially use dream breath, which, you know, will put the whole party to sleep, and also could use venom breath, which could poison the whole party, and unfortunately, turning into a dragon does not heal you of status effects, so... Yeah, if I get poisoned beforehand, I'm still going to be poisoned afterwards. So anyway, yeah, he's weak to fire, so definitely to flame. We can do that for defense, and I, I could do thorn, but it's not going to actually raise the damage at all. So I'm not going to worry about that here. Just don't use... Yeah, there we go. Since I got fire, yeah, the mutant is in pain because... Uh, normally he could heal himself for, I think, like, 200 HP a turn? Or 250 HP a turn or some crazy thing like that? Oof. But because we hit him with fire one time- Oh, wow. You're actually strong enough to survive that, eh, Nina? Yeah, because we... Yeah, hit him with fire once. Oh, yeah, 250 HP. Might take more than one turn, though. Uh, no, don't, don't rest, Nina, just attack. I actually didn't end up using rest nearly as much as I thought I would, but yeah, Flame Claw. Hey. Mutant is in pain! I think we actually have to do this a couple times. To, uh, turn his healing off. Not that it really matters, because he only has 500 HP, and he, I would basically be able to kill him next turn regardless. <laughs> with the amount of damage I've done, so... 
Yeah, Mutant loses regeneration, but who freaking cares? Because, yeah, as long as Momo doesn't miss, he's going to die anyway, so... Oh, and there's that. Jeez, man. Overkill? Oh, yeah, totally overkill. You won the battle! Got 300 experience points. That's why I wanted to get to get close to or slightly below 300 there for Momo there. I don't want her to get that far beyond uh, 39. <laughs> or that far beyond uh, level 14. Because uh, there's going to be a series of battles that I'm... Oh, I, I am going to be forced to get into before I can get back to uh, a master besides Delonzo. Because <laughs> I don't really want to have Momo under Delonzo past level 14 necessarily. So, even though it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I have other masters I'd rather prioritize. Specifically Bunyan, <laughs> who's the best master for so many freaking characters it's not even funny. Oh, right, yeah, now that you've lost. Sure. So cool! Again, you have uh, kind of uh, daddy issues there, don't you, Momo? <laughs> I mean, she doesn't really, but she does mention him a, uh, a fair number of times. <laughs> so, like that. Why not? What's that? Um... Such a waste. Well, technically that was the pretext. Don't you mean we didn't know he was sentient? We came here specifically because of a, uh, he was alive. <laughs> so. Wow, dude. Uh, I mean. Is it really that bad? I mean, you are kind of weak, but still. So, anyway, yeah, we take control of Ryu here. I see. Uh. Ah, maybe. So, yeah, we can't uh, go anywhere if we try to go too far in either direction. Yeah, where are you going? Switch is over here. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> here we go. Um... Wrong way! Well, that didn't work. So, yeah. Flip the switch. And pray that something like me isn't ever born again. And I don't believe that... Yeah, I can't hit it from over there. I actually need to be standing over here. Although, I can be standing way closer to the conveyor belt than normal. Uh... <laughs> for this, so <laughs> I just wanted to do that on purpose. Because, yeah, I don't think you normally can be standing quite that close when you hit the switch. Little late there, Momo! And then, then what? Ah. Uh. But... What now? The heck? The heck? Is it really an onion? Huh. Yep, kill it! 
Like, wait a minute. Did he? Are you sure it's not just the mutant having, you know, burned off the outer shell or something? Huh. It's like, yeah, you... You're supposed to be smart, but sometimes you're not so smart. Ah, I see. Are you sure? <laughs> this seems a little strange, even for a Breath of Fire game. Which, you know, always has us traveling with a group of weirdos. <laughs> Cool weirdos, but weirdos all the same. Oh yeah, and I, I guess Peiko means onion <laughs> or something, so... Yeah, we're gonna call him Peiko! Why not? And Peiko has joined the party! Alright! Yeah, cho please choose three party members and Peiko here... Uh, he starts at level 1, because, you know, he was kind of just born. I guess technically he has a canonical age, but, uh, I'm going to talk more about him later. And all I'm going to say right now, though, is regardless of whether you think, uh, you know, he is going to be a long-term character, or you think the only thing useful about him is the fact that he's at level 1, which makes him perfect for learning his skills. Uh, yeah, regardless of whether you love him or hate him, because, uh, well, surprisingly, I have encountered, like, total Peiko hater out there in, uh, I think on GameFAQs, actually, one of the, I think the thing on skills specifically says that the guy just hates Peiko, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would strongly suggest not using him just yet, because since he is at level one, obviously, you can kind of outfit him for whatever masters you want, <laughs> which is awesome. And how much did you need? Like 39 or something? Eh, whatever. But yeah, I do... I mean, we don't have a long way to go to get out. But yeah, I do want to get uh, Momo to level 14 while I'm on the way out. Actually, I'm not sure we even can get into a random encounter uh, because of that scene. But yeah, we can once we get back out here. And we are going to have to move those uh, boxes out of the way. Uh, oh, gosh. Not two of you. You're worth too much experience points anyway. I think 103? 102. Yeah, by himself. So, yeah, two of them. Heck no. So, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, just move this out of the way. Run out of here real quick. And I do want, er, not that way. Yeah, I do want to get one more level for Momo and also a bit, try to get Air Raid. Although I might do that, uh, for next time or something. You guys aren't worth that much experience, but I don't. I also don't want that many of you. I don't need that much experience for Momo. He actually wouldn't even be enough, worth enough by himself, I don't think. He's only worth 35, so. Yeah, let me just get one more level for Momo real quick. If I can. And. Oh. Really, guys? Yeah, and uh, I'll be ba I'll be right back if I can. Jeez. Ow. Oh, you go, <laughs> Mina. That was almost enough to kill them all. I mean, at least I killed the one I kind of wanted to kill first, because you know, burn kind of sucks. But oh well. <laughs> uh. I mean, I'm just gonna heal up anyway, so I might as well overkill this guy. Yeah, here's what Quake looks like. Yeah, I figured I might as well just come out here. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, 57. That works out just fine there. Good for you, Momo. So yeah, HP rose 3 points. AP rose 3 points. Yeah, more importantly, yeah, agility plus two and all that. We learned Confuse that I'm probably never going to use, but very cool. Yeah, got a Molotov because Mina killed a, uh, one of those guys, or one of the fire ones. 
or mage uh, nuts or whatever, not mages. Whatever the heck they're called. I could rest up, but yeah, since I've got this for Mo for get into the coffee shop, please. Thank you. Yeah, since I got this for Momo, might as well return to the coffee shop and get all the skills. Because I'm going to want to go and switch around some skills anyway once I have uh, gotten these. So, uh, I could shoot you, but yeah, I'll do that on the way out. Just because I'm going to kind of be doing that off screen there. You're back again! And for getting three levels under Delonzo. You get the ability Intimidate! And this is basically just a non-damaging version. No, I don't. Yeah, that's basically a non-damaging version of Air Raid. So it's not that great. Although Air Raid, because it's a physical attack, it does account for a character's... Uh, accuracy so I think it actually is a decent skill specifically for Momo uh, or where is it yeah since it doesn't cost anything although it does have its own specific accuracy rating which is I think it's like 90 to 95 percent because it's not a hundred percent accurate <laughs> when I was using it on a character who did, does have a hundred percent accuracy uh, before I don't really tend to use it much but I think it actually might be worthwhile against enemies that have, like, high uh, counterattack rates and stuff as well, but... Yeah, that one's an okay skill, but more importantly... you practicing what I showed you, so... For getting four levels, we get the last skill from Delonzo, which is... Steal. The only other way to steal stuff besides Ray. It basically works the same thing, or same way, except that it doesn't do damage. I want to give that to Ryu right away, because, you know, obviously he's going to be in the party a lot. <laughs> so, you know, like, always. Oh, I guess I could have attacked them on the way. Whatever. I don't need to shoot everybody on my way out. I don't need to be that much of a robber. I've got tons of money right now. More than I'm going to need for purchasing, I believe, so... Ways. Let's see. It's uh, uh okay. Fine, coffee shop. I am gonna want to do like one thing with Peiko real quick. Oh, I do want to go do this anyway. I forgot. I almost forgot about the party chat here. <laughs> I see. He looks so weird. Oh, cool. You said that before. I guess so. Guess so. What do you want to do? I want to actually look at my... Oh, I guess I could look at Honey over there too, but... Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Let's do that first. Why? I do want to rest up. And just to show it off, I guess I'll take a look at Delonzo as well. Oh, you're still in the lead. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll, yeah, look at uh, Master List and take a look at Delonzo. has got a star next to her name. Awesome. Yeah, it's one of the few instances where it actually does show a hidden stat boosting. But, yeah, most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> or doesn't show all of them. Like, you know, Delonzo also boosts surprise and dodge rate by five. Include so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but, yeah, none of the... Yeah, like, my guess had a bunch of hidden stats he boosted. Well, one he boosted and one he subtracted from. But, yeah, that doesn't show. But, anyway, now that we've gone and done this. Or now that we've got steel, let's look at the skill notes. And, uh... Yeah, go ahead and change. We'll just use a skill ink there. I can do this kind of however I want there. I Surprisingly, I'm still going to want Burn and Frost for the future here. I still want Snooze on Ryu. Double Blow is actually not that great, on honestly, <laughs> for the long run, but I'm going to keep it anyway there. Uh, I do still technically want Blind, although it's not going to be that great forever there. 
And yeah, I can just switch to whomever I want there and we can, it won't use up an extra ink. So let's see, let's get steel off of you. Is there anything else I want to give you? I don't believe so. I mean, I could give you target, but I don't really care. So let's see, let's go ahead and give you steel. You're definitely going to need that. And as long as I'm here... Uh, let's go ahead and give Peiko a skill or two, or more specifically, I want to give you Last Resort, because he's going to be the one making use of that in the long run. Uh, you all know why if, you play, if you're a long-time player of this game. <laughs> but yeah, see, yeah, otherwise, I'm not really big on the rest of the skills there for at least him anyway. Nina, go ahead and get Magic Ball and Meditation, because you are going to basically be using those long-term. I guess I could give you Typhoon, even though it's not going to be that big a deal, but you're not going to be getting a level 16 anytime soon. So yeah, go ahead and give that to you. Momo's got Quake. It'll be more than good enough for you for the long term. I don't care about Gloom. Uh, I am actually going to give you Influence because you are going to need it eventually, but not for quite a while there. And as for the rest of the skills, yeah, charge is worthless, unmotivate obviously is worthless, target is worthless, and I don't have any plausible use for snap, so I'm not going to worry about that. And let's see, I still want bone dart on Nina, even though I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> so yeah, blitz, if you haven't gotten it on Momo yet, uh, you actually don't need monopolize right now i'm actually actually yeah let's give that off of you you don't need that actually do i or, or do i still want that on you hmm no no i i don't i don't uh yeah let's get that on you because you will need that eventually that is the best way to get him caught up eventually but not right away so yeah i think yeah blitz and i guess i'll get intimidate but I mean, I guess I could have waited because I, I did, I do actually want uh, Air Raid on Momo. So I guess I could have done that first. <laughs> oh, right. I totally forgot about that. I didn't get Air Raid off, off uh, screen there, but. <laughs> so yeah, let's go get Air Raid for, uh, and, uh, and I'll actually rearrange my skills again. I'll probably actually just reset now <laughs> that I've done that. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, I'll get Air Raid kind of off-ish screen. And, uh, yeah, we'll go back to the plant next time. Well, I'll also be doing one small thing with Peiko next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Arrivederci.